my husband and I, we were uh, doing like the off-grid homestead thing. You know, we had like rainwater catchment. We were making like homemade gardens with like down trees and limbs. And, you know, I was like cutting down, a, what is it called? Taking the limbs off of trees with a bow saw. Like I was really super duper active, um, carrying buckets and buckets of water to the animals and to the garden and like outside every day. Um, we did have, you know, we were in the woods, so we had quite the tick problem. Um, and I, you know, while I was homeschooling my kids and I was like canning stuff and dehydrating stuff and harvesting like wildflowers. And I was like super into just like trying to be as natural as possible. Um, and I ended up having, uh, so I don't really know exactly what it was, but something happened and everything in my body just started uh, malfunctioning. And um, it started with just like back pain, hip pain, knee pain. I was having a hard time walking. I was having a hard time balancing. Um, I went through like I, a weight loss, a period of weight loss where I went from size 12 to size six uh, because I just couldn't eat because I was too nauseous. I had really bad like hand tremors. I had really bad tremors in my legs. Um, I would get really confused when I was trying to talk to you and forget very simple words that I should know. Um, I experienced quite a bit of weakness in my body where I just couldn't, like I would try to button my kids' pants and I couldn't get my um, like my left hand to go where it was supposed to. Um, and overall was going through some pretty bad fatigue. I definitely was afraid because there's a few things that could cause all of those um so there was a lot of fear going on there um we started going and seeing a bunch of different I found a doctor who was really awesome she is she was still like to the very end like until I started patching like she's like I'm with you like we got to figure out what this is um so she was like referring me to every specialist she could think of so you were robust out in the woods doing all this and then all of a sudden just like overnight how did how did this come upon you it, it literally just started as back pain and and then it went to this and I started going to the chiropractor thinking it was just back pain and it wasn't until a couple weeks in that I even realized that I wasn't able to eat um, until my husband I, he asked me if I wanted food and I said no thanks and he said is it because your teeth hurt or is it because you're sick and I it didn't it never dawned on me that I had been too sick to eat for weeks already um, so everything was very like, it was like a very weird, discreet progression of symptoms that it took me a while before I even realized that I was having some symptoms. Like I just, I just always was trying to attribute it to this or this, like trying, you know, thinking it was that I need to go to the chiropractor again. Maybe my back is out and no matter how many times I went to the chiropractor, it never fixed any of the pain and, um, yeah, and it was just a very slow, like, slow yet quick within a couple months um, progression. But it was just so discreet that I couldn't really tell until I was, like, way in and looked back and realized, oh, wait, something's wrong. Okay, uh, so um, then you were going to a lot of specialists, getting a lot of mm -hmm. tests. Yeah, we had lots of lots of labs, like a ton of labs. We had CT scans, MRIs, uh, x-rays, spinal taps. I did sleep studies like we did. Like I was just going through all these tests and none of the doctors were ever, ever, ever able to find anything wrong. Like I just kept hearing over and over. Everything looks fine. And uh, all your stuff came back normal. And most people would be excited by that, but I wasn't. Um, because I really wanted to answer. I really wanted to know what was wrong so that we could treat it. And, uh, and what you know, was eventually, the emotional state like while you were going through all this? I, my mental health deteriorated. Like I did end up in a, a psych facility just like four month, four or five months ago um, because I was just praying for death. Uh, I felt like Job almost in the Bible, you know, where he's like, hey, like, why do you have me here? Um, so that was really hard. I, I couldn't be a wife. I couldn't be a mom. I felt like I needed like a caregiver. Like I needed somebody to literally take care of me. And I couldn't walk to the bathroom. Um, I couldn't get to my car. 
my husband, like I literally couldn't pick my feet up off of the ground. And, um, you know, like it got to the point where I couldn't, like, I wouldn't have balance. I wouldn't be able to like get my legs to move properly. Um, I would have weird sensations all over my body. Like my body would just like, I would have a lot of uncontrolled movements or involuntary movements. Um, and my body would just move randomly. And, uh, it was, it was, it got to the point where like my husband one day after he had shoulder surgery, had to literally throw me over his other shoulder and carry me into the house because I was too weak to hold my, like to lift my feet up. Um, I did, I was using a cane for a few months um, and eventually graduated to a walker because I couldn't, I didn't have the upper body strength to hold myself up with the cane. Um, so I so did eventually now, get a walker. Let's, let's go to what happened when you found the patches because what you just painted is a horrific picture. Yeah. Yeah. So my dad, he calls me one day and my dad's super into like alternative treatment options for stuff. He definitely is more of the, he's aware of food and he lectures me on the salt I eat and the oil I eat and the types of water I drink. You know, he's very like health conscious. And he calls me one day saying, I found this thing. I really want you to try it. I had brain fog and he ended up um, enrolling under Dr. Harmon. And I, I'm not sure exactly how that came to be, but I know my dad was going, uh, get, going through some brain fog and he's like a computer programmer or web designer or something like, so like brain fog and that don't do good together. So he found the patches and said within a couple of weeks, his brain fog was better. And he was able to just go from task to task. And he said, I really want you to try this because we still don't know what's wrong with you. But, and he explained it to me and it made a lot of sense because in my, researching my health issues and treatment options, I came across phototherapy quite a few times or light therapy or all of these different types of using light for health. And so when he was explaining it to me, I'm like, that scientifically makes a lot of sense. Like I would totally be down to try it. And honestly, I was out of options. I was on a ton of medication. None of them helped. No doctors were able to help me. Nobody could, nobody could help me. So I was extremely willing to try this um and what happened ended up, the first day or second day let's <laughs> get those results it's so exciting okay so yeah we went we were going on a camping trip with our friends my dad got us signed up I got my x39 ordered and we're in the middle of the camping trip we kept coming home because we had to feed the animals um and so we got the patches in the middle of the camping trip and I the day before had been I had really bad vertigo so I was extremely sick my stomach issues were terrible I couldn't eat I hadn't been able to eat anything in days I was too weak to hold myself up in the car so I was just like flopping like my neck my stomach my back everything was too weak to hold myself up um, my blood pressure was super low my heart rate was super high everything was like everything was malfunctioning and um, so I put my little patch on not really knowing what to expect and then the next day um, cause I had been using my walker during the camping trip. I could make it like maybe two trips to the bathroom and then I would have to go to my walker because I'd be too tired. Um, so I started the patch and then the next day I remember like just getting up and like almost bouncing around between like campsites. I was like doing my laundry, hanging everything up, like listening to music, playing, like my like hyperactive tendencies came back out, you know, like I was just like, <laughs> like a, like a crazy person kind of. Um, but like my energy was up, my sleep improved, like, and I had been on a lot of sleep meds and none of the sleep meds worked. And so just on the X39, just day two, the sleep meds started working. Like I actually was, had been able to start sleeping. And I remember just like, this got to be a placebo effect or something, you know? And it took me a couple weeks of having steady improvements before I was like, this isn't a placebo. Like, this is actually working. <laughs> but now, I mean, I'm back. I'm back to normal. Like, I am back to normal the way I was before whatever happened happened. And, I, like, I get sick now. And I get tired like a normal person does when they get sick and I get injured and I have pain like a normal person when they get injured 
And it took me a while to let go of that fear of like, anytime I had a cold, anytime I had an injury, anytime I had any bit of stress, my health issues would flare back up. And so it took me a while before I was able to like that fear, almost like PTSD. Like it was like, I'm like afraid of any hiccups in my life because I don't know if I'm going to get sick. And that would last for months. 